Hi, my name's Kate. I am a high school math teacher in the middle of my 17th year of teaching. I thought that I would take you guys along for a day in my life. Today is Thursday, April 25th. So not a special day, just a normal Thursday for me. So today I have my first period. I see my geometry kids. They are taking a test over circles. So central angles, inscribed angles, intercepted arcs, intersecting chords, all of that. Plus they do have a review of all the other standards that we've been working on this semester. So just continuing to hit those standards that they struggle with, the ones that we throw in our warm-ups. So that's what my geometry kids are doing first period. I have my pre-calculus class second period. This is a dual credit pre-calculus class. They are getting credit for college as well as high school. They are in their systems unit. So we reviewed solving basic systems yesterday. They're, you know, algebra systems. We are going to review solving nonlinear systems today. And then later on in this unit, we're going to get into the three variable system. So I'm really excited. I do like the three variable system unit. So that's what I'm going to do in pre-calc. My third period today is my plan period, which is over lunch. Normally on Thursdays, we have a P PLC meeting with our small group of teachers. There's an English teacher, a couple English teachers in our group. There's an art teacher in our group. Um, but it was canceled today. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to use that time to start getting all of my artifacts uploaded into SFS, which is our teacher evaluation system. So I've got a little extra time to do that today. And then my last period of the day is another geometry class. And again, they're taking that same test as my first period. So not necessarily the most exciting day, but you know, Welcome to teaching. They're not all exciting. So I'm going to flip the camera around, get a little bit of work done before kids come in, and I will chat with you guys later. If you are new to my videos, welcome. I start each class with slides that look similar to this, just letting the kids know kind of everything about the day. So up in the upper left-hand corner here, we have the do now, what kids need to do when they come in, or at least once the bell rings, I'm expecting them to do these things. So today, turn in their phone and then the supplies that they need. Underneath that, I have our I can statements. So for today, it's very broad because we are taking that test. And then I will list what we are doing today. So, you know, unit eight test today. Over here I have a six minute timer. This is when we have warm ups, so we'll start warm ups the next time I see this class. Um, upcoming due dates is where I will list the day of their test or quiz that's coming up and then I always have a meme of the day. Unfortunately most of my students did not understand this one. I'm sad. Turn that sadness into something positive so now I'm sad is in absolute value so it's now positive. Um, yeah, even when I explained it to my kids, they just looked at me, so that's okay. Sometimes they just don't understand my memes, and that's all good. Okay, so just a couple of reminders before you guys start the test. Make sure that you are reading the directions carefully. Make sure you're showing your work. When you guys are labeling your answers, think about what it's asking. If it's asking for an angle measure, should I be saying 12 inches? Does inches make sense for an angle measure? No, it should be in what? degrees. If it's asking for the area of something, you know, find the area of this triangle. Does it make sense for your units to be de uh, degrees for an area of a triangle? No, right? My area isn't going to be 32 degrees. That doesn't make sense. It would be inches squared, centimeters squared, whatever those units are squared. So you need to think about what it's being asked and make sure you put the correct units with those. And then we're going to plug both of those x's in separately into one of our equations. Which equation is going to be the smarter equation to use? The bottom one, right? y equals 3x minus 3. So we're going to plug both of those back in separately. So when we look at this one, is it obvious right now what we would do? No, because I don't have a y equals, I don't have an x equals. There's no plus sign here, so I can't use elimination. So that means that I need to get one of these equations to either say x equals or y equals. My first two classes are done, so I'm now on my plan period. I have a few copies that I need to make. 
and I need to make sure that I am prepped for Friday for geometry because we are starting our new unit. And then I am going to work on getting all of my artifacts into SFS for my teacher evaluation. My plan period is over and it's lunchtime, so I have a salad here. So I've got this great bowl that I got. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. But um, so the tops, all my salad toppings, and then I got my salad underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead, enjoy my salad, and just relax a little bit before my last class, my geometry class, which is taking their unit test today. So while they're taking the test, obviously gonna be walking around monitoring the kids, but I'm also gonna work on their stepping stone project. I like to do a project at the end of every unit in addition to a test. And so this one that I did, this stepping stone project, really walked the students through how to do this project. And when they were done, they were coloring. So here's an example of what one of the projects looks like. So I need to go through and I need to check their answers and I have to go through, you know, it tells them to draw a line and measure it. So I have to measure their line. I have to measure their angles. I really have to check each and every student's work because every answer for every question is different for each student's assignment. So they take a lot of time to grade, but I still enjoy this project because it really shows me that they do or do not understand the main concepts from this unit. So if I can find this project, I will leave it in the description below as well. Okay, I am going to give you guys about 15 minutes to study, to fill out your pink sheets, whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that you are ready for this test. This is not a time for you just to sit there and talk with each other. This is not a time just to be on YouTube or whatever. This is a time to make sure you've got everything you need for your pink sheets. You have, you know, looked over the review sheet. If you had questions on the review sheet, you can come talk to me about that. 15 minutes and then we're going to get this test started. That's it. The day is over. So my last class finished up their test. And then during our impact homeroom time, I still had a couple of my students that needed extra time. So they worked on that and the rest of the class worked on their missing assignments quietly. So it was just a very good way to end the day. So that's all I've got for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in following along more with my journey of teaching high school math, please subscribe. I do upload videos every Friday, but you can hit that notification bell to be notified the next time a video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.